everybody. I thought I'd record this video. <laughs> I hope you guys have had a great welcome to my Friday favorites and my blue items of the week. I hope you guys had a super week. My week was great and I'm hoping to get this video uploaded for you guys on time. Yes. I'm recording on my phone, but it's alright. That's okay. It's gonna be a day anyway. I'm not trying to think. Anyway, uh, I do have several items I want to talk to you about that were crap to me and the rest of it were oh, I love these products. Sorry, I had something in my mouth. Okay, I got it out. <laughs> uh, let me go ahead and start with the craft items I did not care for. The rest of them are awesome first. And I've got a couple of, uh, well, I got, yeah, what do you think they're non makeup related, but they're awesome products. We start with my food item uh, staring at me. The Wet and Wild Perky Eyelid Primer, the Take on the Day Eyeshadow Primer. I bought this last weekend at Walgreens and I wanted to try it, and I think I got it on sale, don't remember. I did not like this. I'll tell you why. Because, first of all, when I first squeezed that tube, okay, it's going to come out watery. I just shake it up. Um, it did not make my eyeshadow last all day. Um, I tried Elf, I tried Over Decay, I tried Too Faced. I tried this, but this did not do it. I what I do is on my makeup schedule is Monday through Wednesday. I put on just on makeup. I kind of skip out on the face makeup, okay? And then the rest of the week, I put on foundation, the whole nine yards, you know, along with eyeshadow. Because, you know, I kind of do it the other way, but it's just better just to save my face. You know, I'm going to sweat. And I'm on makeup, even when I'm doing my work with the hot other eyelid primers, I told you that I love, it don't come off. This one, it, no. This is what it looks like. It didn't leave uh, a tacky enough. It's like it glides on there, which is nice. It's smooth. But I need it to be a little bit tacky, and I, I don't feel like it's doing that. Um, I've used, along with this, my NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk. I think I just said that. I'm not sure. I used my uh, Color Tattoo and Barely Beige, which was the two main ones I used. I've even used the one I used today. The I Love Stage Essence Eyeshadow Base, which is a good eyeshadow base or eyelid primer. This stuff, uh-uh. I put my eye makeup on between 3.30, 3.45 in the morning. And um, I need to last on all the way for at least 7 o'clock in the evening because there are many times I may want to film. And by 2 o'clock, I'd say 1 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon, my eyeshadow is, like, gone. I have used both high-end and drugstore eyeshadows, so please keep that in mind. I do not like this. I know there are some people on YouTube that may like this. I just didn't care for it, and I will not repurchase this. As a matter of fact, I'm going to give this to a relative of mine. I want them to have it. Okay, the other craft items, I had really high hopes for these, and they did not do it. Oh, my gosh. The Jordana eyelid, eyeliner uh, pencil, the ones that I told you that I was hoping. And I'm going to do a battle of the eyelid primers. I kind of test them out. I had the black one on this eye, and I had the Wet n' Wild one, black and black. Wet n' Wild kicks its booty, okay? These are, first of all, they're hard to go on. They feel just like the NYC ones. I've got swatches right here. The brown one, you actually have to force it on. I'm not going to force something. I need it to go on. It's not just because it's a pencil, but like I said with Wet n' Wild, you can you, uh, barely put it, you start putting it on your eyes, and it glides on. No problem. I still think they're the best hands-down eyelid primers. I don't want to do automatic pencils. I already have plenty of them. I want something like this. And these did not cut it. Plus, they smear. So it just, it wouldn't, no. I know some people are going to say, well, you get what you pay for. Not necessarily. I paid 99 cents for the wet blonde ones, and they do me a lot of good. Um, what was the other crap product? Okay, <laughs> right. I know you're supposed to use the combining shampoo and conditioner, like when you. Like with this one, this is the condition you're supposed to buy the shampoo. But it didn't have, I, they didn't have it, or I just, I wanted to use up one of these products. So I needed to go, I went by CVS, but I did not feel like going to Walmart today to get my Tresemme uh, shampoos and conditioners. I'm also going to try their shampoos and conditioners, like from, uh, from more from Swab, which I do adore. There are some out there I do love. But the CVS brand uh, for dry damage here, the deep moisture conditioner, is supposed to be a new for the Tresemme one. It kind of, but it didn't, it did not leave my hair, it left my hair all jacked up, okay? It just did not leave it super moisturized like it's supposed to, like it claims to. Did not care for this. 
And I've got, I mean, the size amount of this. And as thick as the formula is, you would think it would move my hair. Um, I did wind up finding my hair to make uh, splint, rem splint remedy shampoo, actually. My husband had taken the bottle I was using and put it on, uh, in the um, sink and forgot to tell me about it. So I used that little, last little bit up. I had enough black maple today. And then I'm going to go back and get that. That's what it looks like. It did not do that. And then this other product I used to love all the time back in the day. It didn't do it for me. And and then my hair started getting oily and greasy. And when I stopped using it, my hair started liking me again uh, as far as using it. It went on strike. It was oily and greasy and all that. So the Garnier Fruities Fortified Shampoo and uh, the, the one that's supposed to do what it's supposed to do. Now, this super dried my hair out, too. Uh, both of them just did. And I just... Yeah, and I wanted to use it up. I think I'm going to get it to a friend of mine, or a co-worker of mine, let her use it up. I hear, take, take the stuff. Yeah, so, anyway. I don't like that. Um, and I had the conditioner before, and what I did was I used the last bit of conditioner I had with that, and used the ends of my hair. It did all right, but I won't repurchase that. Now, the last item I'm going to tell you about, it's an, it's an okay powder, but it's not like I holy grail for me, like, um, The Sam Crest Powder is the one from Milani, the, you know which one I'm talking about, the Elf uh, Crest Powder. This one's okay. Um, I think I, what, I, why I didn't like it is I got hit in the wrong shade. I'm forgetting, hey, you need to go darker because I had to add bronzer to this. But it's, it was okay product. I, I'd say it, it's not necessarily a food, it's kind of in between. But the, the CoverGirl Clean Fresh uh, Powder Crest Powder, it, it's not worth six bucks, I will tell you that much. It, I would probably pay three fifty to four dollars for it, but not six. And I got it in the color white, but oh, sorry, classic ivory. So it's okay. Um, I didn't have to touch it, which I expected to, but it just—I think it's because it was so light on my skin that I had to add bronzer to it. And I am wearing it today, but yeah, I really need to go darker. But it's okay. So I think it's kind of in there, but it, it didn't do anything super impressive for me. So yeah, and I did use this. Little doohickey and then the flat uh, top oh, fresh powder. But if you're getting into makeup, I would definitely try this. Especially if you can try color selection. So, I'm going to start cutting this stuff on. Okay, let's get on to the super favorite things, okay? Uh, the Lumi L'Oreal True Max. I'm going to show you this down. You're going to see an empty video really quickly because I finished it up today or yesterday uh, for my class. This I taught. My skin looks flawless. Love this. So, yeah, I highly recommend this. I will repurchase it soon. Just don't know when. Love it. Uh, another product I've been loving that I got last weekend has been the Wet n Wild Lipstick in number 902 C Barrel. This is all I've been wearing all week with the exception of today. It's over there in the holding section, and I did have a swatch of it. Okay, that's what the lipstick looks like. Come on, work with me, work with me, work with me there. It kind of is. I'll try to uh, post a picture on my Instagram. This is one swipe. Ah, oh, so pretty. You want to add another layer? It's a little bit darker. Mm. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Love it, love it, love it. And that's all I'm wearing. It's, I'm matte lipstick, and I usually don't go for matte lipstick, but this nude had my name over it. So, uh, and I paired it with one of my favorite lip glosses of all time. You guys know, nude New York City from. And my city, I did know, I did notice that they were still selling this thing called, I will cry if I ever get rid of these little glosses. And this is what the combination looks like, I'm just going to show you really quickly. Not super, like, impressive, I think, but for me it is, so. Love it. Wipe that off. And I've been also pairing it with the next uh, Mega Shine Lip Gloss and Natural. Love this. This has been one of my all time favorites. I just don't like their applicators for some reason. I, think it, I just like those other ones. It's like that. It's a really pretty brown. That's, that looks like. And it smells really good too. Um, yeah, I just totally love that. Uh, eyes, go back to eyes really quickly. I, the Essence I Love Extreme Mascara, I think that's the last week I didn't really care for this too much, but I figured out why. I didn't let it sit out long enough. So I let it sit out long enough to kind of dry out a little bit. And it works a lot, a little bit more better, but it works really good when you compare it to uh, not 
when you apply this with the Maybelline Colossal Vines Express Mascara. Oh my god. This is, it was like, okay, if there's my eyelashes, I can see them, but when you put these two together, the non waterproof, the glam black color, this is awesome. I only have this one on today. I'm glad I bought this one. I got another one sent to a friend of mine in the two packs of pee. Awesome. So yeah, check it out. Um, my friend Lori is the one that has been telling us about this one, and she did have to wear another um, mascara with it. Now, for lips, my lips have been so, I mean, so dry out, and I don't know what the deal is. Um, I've been applying also on and on the Neva Lip Butter Raspberry Rose, but these, I have at least one of these in my apron. I have these everywhere at work. So I have one of these in my apron at work. That way I've got it just in case I forget what product I got this. But this has been saving my lips. Even though my lips have been dried out, it feels so good. And I don't remember if I did the I the do tag. And if I said I don't like minty lip products, I do like some lip, minty lip, lip products. Um, I do want to clarify that because it is it. So this is the Chap Eyes Beeswax Lip Care Coolant and Honey. Oh my gosh. I got these at Dollar Tree. I don't think they carry it anymore. That's why I got a lot of these because, you know, they don't usually carry it. Love this. This made my lips feel so Nice. Now, I did want to go, of course, break open, and I, I told my husband, I'm going to come here, you know, kiss me and see what you think, and it was right after this, the so Elf Lip Exfoliator, and he goes, that's it? It didn't gross him out. He said, what is that? And I showed him this, and he loved it, but I thought I was exfoliating my lips. He was like, really interesting. So, when you use these two, your lips will be smooth as a baby's butt. There it is. I used to didn't think the hype on this was all that great, but yeah. So, so glad I got another one. I will repurchase this again. I'm going to try to do this at least once a uh, week or once a day. Highly recommend these. If you find them at the Dollar Tree, and I'm my friend Peggy. She's also an avid Dollar Tree a shopper girl. If you see these, you need to try them out. If you like uh, Mindy Wood products, I can't remember what she said in your video. Okay. The next, wait a minute, let me do, I'll oh, get an eye show. I have this on today. I will have this on tomorrow, so I'm going to throw it in there. The Elf Blush Studio Blush Infusion Fusion. This is the one I have a backup. Yes, I hit tan. Love it. It's like a kind of a slight mauve color. Beautiful. One of my own favorite blushes. Okay, now let's get the eyeshadow that I wore. This one I wore probably twice, maybe three times. It's one I have on today. It's the Twinkle Twinkle Eyeshadow Palette. Curve of uh, um, I think it's number two. I got an extra one for my friend. And this palette is so gorgeous. It's going to be a fuck. Dollar. <laughs> oh, I love these colors. They're, they're like, as my friend Ashley, they scream. Or they scream me. And oh my gosh. That's just the first three. Gorgeous. You can find these at Walgreens. I know the Walgreens in my area. They definitely have them. You just kind of have to give them a little bit. Uh, I went to the Walgreens that's close to my work, and they had them. And I did try this. I have this one on today. This one's really pigmented. I'm going to show you that one. It's really not bad. It's actually really pigmented. It's just one of the colors on it. I'm not too sure about it. This would make a great highlighter for, I think, your cheeks, I think, a little bit. So, love it. Thank you, Little Secret Manita 422, for telling us about these. I love this palette. I can't. But, love it. Okay, right, another eyeshadow palette from them. Uh, no, not from them. I know some people don't like uh, hard candy eyeshadows, but I did, and I wore it at least once or twice this week. The one, and naturally gorgeous. I wore the sister name, and I can't remember what other day I wore this. So pretty. So awesome. And then I wore, uh, wore this, I think, Wednesday or Tuesday, the Too Faced uh, Natural Eye Kit. This was hands down one of my favorites. Next, out of all the eyeshadow palettes, if I had to, if I could only buy one eyeshadow palette, this would be it. Because I just really love this one. And if you guys don't have this in your collection, you need this. Because this has some really pretty shimmery shadows, and you can tell, and some matte shadows. And they're, and they've got some dudes from the Wet n Wild Vanity palette in there, too. They're, Vice versa. So, love this. Highly recommend this. I forgot how much I love it. I'm probably going to wear it again on Sunday. And the last one I wore is another perfusion I 
I did test this one out. I was underestimating the shades in this, because usually when you get eyeshadow palette from Keaton Ram, their lighter shades are not that good. But this one was the bomb diggity. It was only two bucks. And I had picked up another one for my friends, and I'm just keeping the cover over just to protect it. So, super awesome. Okay, almost done. Now let you guys go. Okay, non makeup related stuff. I wore these yesterday, and I'm going to probably wear them again tomorrow. A lot of my customers loved it, a lot of customers did, so I thought, hey, I'll probably wear them. Right, favorite thing. I love this. I went from H&M to H&M last year. I had a gift card. My sweet friend. Is one that you get offline. I can get these earrings tangled. And I bought a set of these, and I love these. I got now I got some earrings I got from H and M on it, and but these cute little roses aren't they cute? Coming in packs, they're kind of like the Forever Twenty One packs. They're really really cool and detailed. I also have a. Uh, them in the mint, and I, now that I'm not really having to answer the phone the more, I can wear them with their earrings. Um, I've just been forgetting to change my earrings out, so love this, and I combined it, combined it, it's plain word, I combined that with these ones I got at the 99 cent store, and I got some purple ones like this too, little cameos, it's only a dollar, it's pretty, and they're like, you got those for a dollar, I'm like, yeah, girl, get out of here. Love that combo. Okay. Uh, one more beauty item, and I'm showing the non beauty item. LA Colors, out of all the nail polishes I wore this week, I love, love this one. It's for my nails. A lot of people think that I did my, I've gotten from my nails out, but it's actually my fake nails, and I just went back to blowing nails just for a little while. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably take these off. Uh, and go get my nails done probably on my birthday or something, just treat myself. I don't know. I hadn't decided yet. The Rejuva Code, I'm still wanting to do a video on it. I'm just not sure how I'm going to do the video because a lot of people said it worked for them. It didn't work for me. And I'm just afraid I'm going to get a backlash on it. But I use it according to how everybody's been using it, how you're supposed to use it, and even other item, other ways of doing it. My nails got almost, they, they're not healthier, but they just didn't grow like everybody else's. It just, it didn't work for me totally. So I'm thinking about trying to open my nail in me. Anyway, just please don't hate me. I'm just trying this out. I'm being very careful when one pops off in my hand, whatever. So far, this is staying on. I'm not going back to re-bloom or anything. They come off, they come off. Uh, but the nail polish I've been obsessed with is in for, uh, from Simple Colors, my turn. And I think that's what my friend Ashley picked with Mommy Boys wear this. I'm not really sure. But I forgot I had it in the... You'll see in my nail polishes, I'm going to keep my nail polishes in a basket similar to this. And what I do is, um, yeah, anyway, what I do is I keep them in there. And once I'm worn it, at least once I put on my nail polish rack. I still got to stick in my nail polish rack to get it dusted. But this is such a pretty color. And it's just a bright, it's just a really pretty gray color. I've got my compliments off of it. Um, it does show a map, but you can put a glossy top coat over it. My hands off my most favorite. I did wear Starfish one day, and the color was gorgeous in the polish. But I think it's just more of a spring summertime polish. Okay, right. let's get on with the non beauty stuff. This stuff has saved my life this week. Oh my gosh, my husband made sure. I used to not think I'd be into this uh, brand coffee. Soldiers, I love you. I love you. And he got the medium dark. As long as you don't get the dark, I'm fine. I usually like the medium the medium dark. Oh, my gosh. This is the last stop. Or is that my actual house? This stuff. I love coffee in general, and I love the, the cheap brands. I try not to buy cheap brand coffee. I'll go ahead and spark on the $4.39 this is. I don't care. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I can all day into this. It smells so good. I'm like... I went and let's see that it did it at Facebook page and I liked it, so yeah, I'm gonna post them some how much I love their coffee. With me, I'm starting I'm not I'm hoping I don't drink myself with me getting used to getting up early now. I drink at least two cups of coffee. This has been I mean, usually after the first cup I'm usually like really awake and this has helped so much keeping me going and that kind of thing. So if you like coffee, you kinda like this kind, if you haven't tried it, give it a whirl, it smells and tastes yummy. Yeah. Purple creamer in it. Something I got yesterday, I'm so 
stoked about it. I'm going to show you guys this. I'm calling this center because I've been needing, I didn't, I didn't need a, a lunchbox because I wasn't working like a full shift, but now I'm working a full shift. I need a lunchbox. I went to the thrift store and found one. That's this. And that's my favorite. Uh, they had a slightly bigger one, which is what I was going to carry in case I need, I'm going to be there longer and I can carry more food. But this is great. This is $4. It's from Arctic Zone. Um, it has someone's name written on it, the last name, but it's got some other stuff I'm going to show you. And it has a little zipper side pouch. I used it yesterday and I love it. And it came with this cute little um, container. And I thought that was cool. The California Innovation that they stuck in there. And you wouldn't think this would fit in there, but it does. So, yeah. Uh, got home, wiped it down. Love. Love this. I just love the fact that I'm on a lunchbox. My husband has, like, a cooler type thing I use for a lunchbox. I've got my, I wanted the hot pink one, but the hot pink one that they had there was torn on the top of it. Another thing I found, um, and I thought, I got this whole wool kit. You get the little kits that they go and stuff all together and get for, like, two bucks. Uh, this is a Tupperware container. And I had never seen it. I know I looked on the Tupperware uh, website, and they have a different collection of Hello Kitty. Um, and I asked them on the Facebook page, um, I showed them what this picture looks like, and I said, what is it used for? And it said you can put, you can use it basically for anything non-food related, but it's mainly used for, you know, snacks and so forth. And it's just a Hello Kitty Tupperware container that I'm planning on using for, like, fruits and stuff like that. What you do is you open the lid up. And it opens up like that. Now, that would make a cool makeup travel thing, I, I believe. So, and I did use it yesterday. Totally adorable. And then the other thing that I got, I got these at Michael's a long time ago. And I'm going to tell you, my husband wants them to be great camping things. 